This is Richard Fowler. I'm John Kilpatrick with Oklahoma Keto, Louisville, Kentucky, USA. And we're doing this sequence on the Joe Cottas, the three Joe Cottas that we use in this club. And uh, we're looking at, the day we're going to look at the 31 count Cotta and it's movements seven and eight. And with, with movements five and six, movement five are just, it's a Yoko Manucci. And the way I like, I want to put this leading motion in here. So he's striking at my hand. And I come here, I pull this back, and I strike at his head. So we're in this position. I've just struck at his head. And now I'm turning to deal with an attack from behind. And the way Saito does this, and it's not just Saito, I've looked at a lot of different um, Joe Cottas, and I have a book on Joe Doe, and they all, they just stand there and turn and strike. And I, I just don't understand that. It seems to me that you know, their idea is that somebody's attacking from behind. So in this case, uh, yeah, don't, not too far. And so he's, he's attacking from back there, and I'm just struck with this reverse strike. Well, if I just turn around here, I'm right in the road to the ancestors. He's going to send me there. Um, well, maybe I want to visit him, and maybe I don't, but I might want to wait and visit a little later. So, so I think that's I think that's absurd. So if I'm standing here, what I want to do is pivot and get off this line of attack. And here I've got my my Joe. If I if I have enough time, what'll happen with this is it'll pull him in, and then I smack him with my yoke Coleman, and then I smack him with my reverse strike. And notice this is the same pattern we just had with uh, five and six. So you have five and six is a yoke Coleman with a reverse strike. And then seven and eight is the same pattern. This is a pattern that is very popular with the Joe, which seems a little strange to me because the way I was taught is your basic Joe strike, your basic Joe attack is a stab. And you've got this little light stick and you're smacking the guy upside the head with it. It seems to me like it might be better to um, stab him, but that's not what they do. Uh, something I like to do sometimes is after I do this strike, then stab. Now, if from this point of view, if I'm looking at it from this direction, if I've got, I've just done this reverse strike. Now notice where my feet are. Now when I turn, I'm stepping to the side here and bringing my body all the way around. And the Joe, I'm, as I come around, I come back with it and then I can get a good Yoko Manuki strike. But so what people, uh, what everybody seems to be doing is they just stand here and turn. I think that's crazy. I want, as I turn, I want to step back here so that I'm well out of the way of an attack coming from behind.